O Cruza tá ali e o Guerra. O que você vai fazer? Tô preparando umas questões pra ver se a gente consegue uma exclusiva com ele. Vamos ver. Se eu conseguir uma exclusiva com o Cruza, vai ser muito incrível. Uma foto já vai ser muito incrível. Galera, eu acho que vai rolar. Se não rolar, isso aqui vai virar um vídeo de bastidor interessante do vlog. Mas ele tá bem ali, cara. Ele está bem ali. Vira e mexe, eu venho aqui no stand da Prusa pra ver se eu acho o homem, cara. Eu queria pedir quatro minutos só com ele. Ontem não deu porque tava tendo encontro com os fãs. Hoje, se eu achasse. Mas o Sam tá na área aqui, ó, gravando o vídeo. Esse é monstro também. Mas enfim, Joseph is not in here. Rapaziada, parei no stand da Prusa aqui. Mano, tem duas lendas ali. Só o Joseph Prusa e o Chap, velho. Quem já assistiu o canal do Chap na época das Ender 3, vários upgrades, os dois estão ali batendo papo. E eu tô louco pra interromper ele e falar, can I take a picture in name of God? Nice to meet you. My name is Hugo. I am a huge fan, probably the most biggest fan in Brazil. You are from Brazil? If, yeah. Netflix is from Brazil? Yeah, 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 we are from Brazil. Sure. Okay. Uh, tell me how are you guys doing? Uh, we are doing well. Uh, 32,000 subscribers currently. I have a 3D printing course in there. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Oh, I think I'm man, a, uh, I think be I'm carefully a... what you talk to me because I will be emotional. <laughs> I, am, uh, I, I am a subscriber. Pessoal, estamos aqui com Joseph Prusa. Uma exclusiva bem rápida com ele. Tem algumas coisas que eu gostaria muito de saber a opinião dele a respeito da comunidade de impressão 3D. Então, Joe, você poderia falar oi para o Brasil? Hi Brazil. <laughs> Joe, the first question uh, it's about uh, Prusa Research is often seen as a, the most authentic and community driven companies in the 3D printing world. How do you personally keep that spirit alive as the company grows? It is uh, it is just in our nature. So when I was starting, uh, you know, I was just part of Rep Rep project where where this all started and it was my hobby for three years before before I even started the company. Uh -huh. And I, I had to start a company because a lot of people were asking me to, that they don't want to collect all the parts themselves. So it is still, uh, it is still uh, in our DNA. And over the years, you know, I've been to thousands of events and you know, meeting people like you guys uh -huh. just, just makes it so worthwhile. And you know, that is, that is why we will never change. To me, it seems like the fun is most important for you than the business. Is that right? I think we need to have fun while doing business. Obviously, awesome. uh, Prusa Research is now over, way over a thousand people now. So the business is a big responsibility, but, <laughs> but you know, to take care of everyone. But we need to have some fun uh, while we are doing it, right? Well, I admire that. Se você está curtindo esse papo exclusivo com o Joseph Prusa, Saiba que esse vídeo é patrocinado pela Esterflix, pois eles me levaram até a TCT em Detroit, a maior feira de impressão 3D dos Estados Unidos. E foi graças a eles que eu consegui esse papo e também vários outros conteúdos inéditos que você vai acompanhar aqui no canal nos próximos vídeos. Então já deixa o seu like se você está curtindo esse vídeo e também se inscreve para não perder os próximos. Nós veremos impressão em silicone, impressão com nanotecnologia e muito mais. E claro, o link para você assinar a Stelflix estará na descrição. São pelo menos 80 novos modelos todos os meses. E saiba que apoiar uma empresa como a Stelflix é também apoiar o trabalho de criadores de conteúdo como eu. We have seen a lot of shifts in the industry and with companies slightly moving away from open source. What's your view on the future of open source 3D printing and do you think it's a still sustainable path? So, you know, the 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 change is coming. Uh, I think from 2020 when uh, Chinese government decided that 3D printing is a strategic uh, industry, uh -huh. uh, they started to heavily subsidize it. And with that, what comes uh, is a lot of patents. So big Chinese players, they all file around 500 uh, patent applications. Uh, you know, uh, once, we, once we got, uh, once some of the crucial patents expired, we've had 10 years of very nice open source community, but now, Now, unfortunately, uh, these companies are taking advantage of what was done in the community and like trying to patent around everything. It is really like carpet bombing with uh -huh. patent applications. So it is uh, kind of difficult. 
but we are still trying to share as much as possible. We will have some updates uh, which will enable us to share, uh, share even more. Uh -huh. And I'm a big believer in letting people to modify our printers, make them better or just repair them. I hate when uh, people think that uh, um, some technological products are just black box and there's magic inside it. So I want to be able to provide to people, you know, um, at least an option to see how it takes inside. That's awesome. And also I admire how the software of you guys is open and lead a lot of uh, development as well. We have a lot of other slicing softwares that are, are fork or based on Prusa Slicer. So I also admire that. Uh, a lot of our code is running the industry now. I'm very happy about it. As long as the companies uh, honor the, the licenses and share all of the code and don't do anything sketchy, I'm very happy about it, okay. but it could be could be uh, the adherence could be a little bit better. But yeah. Let's put it this way. The last question: uh, You talked about Chinese and everything, and I don't want to put in a bad spot. But producing everything in Europe is a bold move, especially with global competition. What are the biggest challenges of keeping your entire production in house and local, and what is that so important to you? Uh, it just enables us to move uh, much quicker, and especially during COVID and like the chip crisis. Uh, we knew that we want to do as much as possible in-house, so we we now have just a couple of parts which are made in China, possibly uh, motors and some little little knickknacks. But I feel, uh, you know, with the, with the global geopolitical uh, situation, if something happens uh, in Taiwan, we will be we will be ready, and nothing will uh, nothing nothing will stop our production. Uh -huh. But we are not producing just in Europe. Uh, we've been uh, since since last summer. We've been producing uh, Mark IV SS here in the States. I didn't know that. Yeah, a test production. But uh, just uh, just a few months ago, we signed a new space. We have 90, 97,000 square feet uh, new uh, new factory here, uh -huh. and we are building it up. So there will be way more printers made in USA. Well, uh, congratulations on that. I didn't know about it. And last question, could you say to Brazil which STL Flix model did you print? <laughs> so I was, uh, I was printing the giant octopus wine bottle holder as a gift for my friend for his uh, birthday. <laughs> Joe has printed something that uh, is ours. Se até o Prusa assina a STL Flix, eu não sei o que você tá esperando. Já te falei, o link tá na descrição. <laughs> that was totally awesome. It's an honor to us to have you printing one of our models and thank you for this quick chat. Thank I you. hope no get more time of you. I know you're a busy uh, I occupied I, man. And I hope I will uh, I will soon get a chance to come to Brazil. Oh, we would love to receive you on STL Flix. That would be that would be great. You know, I, I know it, it it may be uh, difficult for you to get our printers uh, shipped from from Czechia, so we will uh, we will try to work on that. Yeah. So it is as easy as possible to get uh, some of our machines. If someone wants to distribute Prusa printers, please contact this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Last thing, could we take a picture on video? Uh, we have to. Oh, okay. Thanks so much. You were so kind. And Perfect. tell those people to hit the subscription button. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Prusa. Oh, that was awesome. Totally <laughs> awesome. Porra, galera. Aqui acabou, mano. Aqui acabou. <laughs> Entrevistei o Joseph Prusa. Que exclusiva com o Joseph Prusa. Honra demais, Aqui acabou, mano. O cara imprimiu o Octopus <risos> da STL Flix. Ele é assinante da STL Flix, velho. Acabou, acabou tudo. Acabou tudo. Eu preciso agradecer esse cara aqui por fazer isso possível. Guys, this man made that happen. So ah. thank you so much My pleasure. for this. And could you say hi to Brazil? Hi, Brazil. Good to see you. <risos> thank you, Putz. Yeah, that was awesome. Enjoy the show. Yeah. Acabou, acabou. Acabou.